Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about National Treasure 3. The script is apparently going to Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage, who's not going to be in the series. Well, it's interesting. The creators wanted him in the series. We'll talk about that in a bit, though. Yeah, we're going to talk about the update to National Treasure. Again, this is a, a franchise that stars Nicolas Cage, and people are not happy that Nicolas Cage... <laughs> How many times are you going to say Nicolas that? Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage was not in the... Uh, or he's not going to be in the Disney Plus series. People are very angry about that. We'll talk about that again. And you know what else is an excellent movie starring Nicolas Cage? Hmm. Willy's Wonderland. Oh, yeah. He doesn't even talk in the whole movie. He does doesn't he? talk in the whole movie, but my God, that movie is a lot of fun. So uh, if you're going to boycott Disney, I recommend you going out and, and buying a copy of Willy's Wonderland because oh, it yeah. has Nicolas Cage. We have it. to like horror movies. So. Horror movies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So anyway, we're going to talk about this uh, update to National Treasure 3. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 274,000 subs. Woo! And if you like treasure and you like adventure, this weekend we're going to launch Crimson Wren, uh, Volume 1 from Clownfish Studios. This yeah, is a, he almost has it ready, actually. Yeah, it's almost ready. It's uh, over 130 pages of uh, action, adventure, treasure hunting. Um, story by Geeky, script by Geeky myself, art by Jose Garcia, 10 years in the making. Uh, and that's not Jose's fault, that was us trying to find a publisher. Anyway, it's going to Indiegogo. So there you go, guys. Uh, you can give us your money instead of Disney. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. We'll take your money. Uh, um, yeah, so apparently Jerry Bruckheimer was doing an interview about Maverick, Top Gun Maverick, with comicbook.com. Um, Top Gun Maverick is coming to digital on the 23rd, if you haven't gotten to see it yet. Uh, so in among their interview, uh, apparently it was mentioned that they have a really good script for the for National Treasure 3 and they're sending it over to Nicolas Cage and they hope he likes it. To Nicolas Cage, yes. Yeah. So let's, let's back it up a little bit. Uh, Disney dropped the trailer for National Treasure, Edge of Glory, I mean Edge of History. Mm -hmm. Edge of History and uh, it's not Nicolas Cage. It kind of teased that it looked like Nicolas Cage from the silhouette and then, oh! It's a woman. Yeah, shocker. Uh, not a lot of people liked it. I can't see the, uh, uh, the downloads. Well, ten days ago, someone said it hit over thirty thousand. Thirty ten thousand. Yeah. So this could be Dis Disney backpedaling because we didn't know the status. That's of what I think. Yeah. yeah. And I'll talk about why I think that here in a minute. But yes, I think Disney. This is Disney. Like, oh, hurry up! They're scrambling to get something together. Oh shit! Hurry it up. Yeah, I mean, lots of people, Disney never fails to fail. It's not National Treasure without Nicolas Cage. Mm -hmm. uh, just what I want, National Treasure without Nicolas Cage, who made it fun and enjoyable. Add this to the list of Disney cash grabs. Lots of upvotes on this. How people, can you make a National Treasure series without the National Treasure himself or itself? Uh, it, it just goes on and on. On and on and on. No pirates without Johnny Depp. Well, I have to wonder, I have to wonder about that. I'm thinking... Uh, because of his his courtroom victory that they might call him back. Oh, they'd I, have to give him a lot of alpacas. A lot of alpacas. I would tell them to uh, turn it sideways and shove it where the alpacas can't reach. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, very but, but alpaca. there's a lot of money, though. He might yeah. might do it just to be like, because that would be a further uh, middle finger to certain people, you know. It would be. It so would I be. would do it just to annoy, uh, you know, certain herds. Um, uh, for herds of alpacas. Um, no, so apparently... Um, Nicholas Cage himself has been saying for a while now that he didn't know if they were actually going to do this show. Like when it was first announced, they were doing the show. The movie was also announced at the same time. They announced them both. Yeah. And so I knew there was going to be a show that was supposed to not have him in it. That was that was something they announced a while ago. Most people didn't pay attention to that. Well, the movie people kept asking for the movie. And, and as time went on, you kept hearing about the show, but you weren't hearing about the movie. And they said, like, as of April, he was on Ask Me Anything, um, Nicolas Cage was, and he said, uh, no, the priority was to turn it into a TV show, so they probably won't be getting the movie. Right. Someone asked him about it. And he's been saying that a couple times that he doesn't think it's going to move forward. Well, then they dropped the trailer for the edge of whatever uh, whatever history. it was, history. The edge of it's history. That's much I care. The ring um, job of history. They dropped the trailer for that. And edge of history. <laughs> and, and it did not go very well. No. So now all of a sudden, hey, look, there's a script and it's going off to Nicolas Cage, guys. Just so you know, there's, we might be moving forward on, on the, the movie with him. And it's also funny because the people that were behind it, the creators, that was it, uh, it was it Cormac and Marianne Wyberly, they were at San Diego. 
Mm-hmm. And they said that they try that, that they take Nicolas Cage for the show in a minute in a heartbeat. I don't think it was their choice not to put Nicolas Cage in. I think it was Disney mandates. I think it was Disney mandates and also creating cheap content for Disney Plus mm-hmm. because Nicolas Cage is expensive. Except for I don't know what he got paid for Willie's Wonderland. I think he would work with them. I really do. If something he really is interested in and he cares about, I think he works with you. I think they would work with him. I think it was more that they were just like cutting him out. They have a couple other people from the show, but as long as they understand that they're back seat. And people don't want to see a new team. They want to see, no. or they at least want to see him handing the reins over to a new team. No, they didn't want to see that. I you don't think so they, either. They but tried this. The passing but it's because of the Disney torch. does it shitty. They do it, it can, shitty. It can be done well. Ghostbusters handled it pretty well. Uh, Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai handled it pretty well. You, ha- you can't run the, the legacy characters down to prop up the new characters. you got to make sure that the, the legacy characters are themselves and respected. And the new characters are damn earn it. They don't just get handed it because they they just showed up. Yeah. And, you know, I think that they want him in the show. I, I have a strong suspicion it was Disney who made the choices that were made and mandated what was mandated. And um, cause I guarantee if it was up to these people, he would have been in it. Yeah. And people thought he was going to be. And then he turns out, oh, no, he's in the movie. Well, the movie went, you know, by the wayside. And you weren't hearing anything else about it. And now, all of a sudden, after all the backlash, which there was a lot of backlash. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, guess what? There's a script. Yeah, and, that was that was convenient. That was convenient. They just kind of pulled it out of their back pocket like two weeks after years of nothing. Well, it's not two weeks, but it's been about a month. But still, months. but, you know, like a month or more, whatever. When did this come out? July, July 21st. 21st. So, so it's about a month, almost a month. And then all of a sudden, there's a script. How quickly can we write a script for a national trade? I think they already had something in the works, and they kind of put the whole kibosh on it temporarily, you know, until they found out that people weren't going to go watch it unless you had. They promised Nick Cage. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I mean, Disney. Look, um, they're they're getting it uh, through their heads last. Other Hollywood studios. We're going to do another video today talking about the situation with Warner Brothers and Netflix, and they are trying to win back audiences because that's where the money is and the money is running out. Disney has the luxury of the theme parks and all this other revenue and they supposedly had a really good quarter and all that. Oh, wait. Speaking of which, can I tell them about the funny thing with the Star Wars Hotel? Oh, yeah. Good oh, yeah. So the Galactic Star Cruiser Star Wars Hotel, the one that still not has like full wide open booking availability like till December, um, they decided that they're going to raise their their 30 minute photo session. You get a 30 minute photo session. It had an introductory rate of 100 bucks. 100 bucks for 30 minute pro photo session. That, okay, that's not too bad. It is now going to be three hundred and ninety nine dollars. Oh my god! For 30 minutes. That's insane. Yes. That's, that's how this is how out of touch these people are. Yeah, well, they, they were clearly out of touch to think that they could do a National Treasure series with uh, without Nicolas Cage. But and... it, it has nothing to do with it being led by a woman or diversity or anything that kind of shit. It, even though everybody kind of sees this, and if they lead with that, then you know where it's going to go. We're seeing it with She Hulk. Yeah, we're seeing it with other shows they've done, and you immediately are turning your audience off because they're not even they see that they don't even get a chance because they know what you're going to do. But it's because they didn't have Nicolas Cage in it. They could have got away with having you know people aren't against new characters that it's against national treasure without Nicolas Cage. Yeah. So, you know, maybe, maybe they're learning slowly. I don't know. Or it could be Jerry Bruckheimer now because of Top Gun 2. Yeah, that's, has, that's has true. Has more pool and he might be able to get uh, Johnny Depp He back might because he was the one that was trying. He was going to Disney and telling them they needed to bring Johnny Depp back and they, they were like, weren't listening to him and he was trying everything he could to get Johnny Depp back in as, as Captain Jack. And now he's doing, yeah, look what Top Gun Maverick did. Maybe they should listen to Jerry Bruckheimer. Yeah, I think I think that's it. I think he's throwing his weight around, and he probably knows behind the scenes, like, yeah, well, we need to phase out all the toxic white males that are all the there's too many white male leads in our franchises. We need more. It's that's fine. You create a new franchise, or you organically introduce new characters, whatever. But I mean, I don't think anybody's upset about having new characters. They just want Nicolas Cage in it too. Yeah, I think what what is so um, weird about it is they actually think that I guess the uh, the IP, the name is stronger than the sum of its parts. Like Star Wars, the Star Wars trilogy would have been nothing without Han, Luke, Leia, right? Mm -hmm. But they seem to think that the Star Wars brand name is worth more and you can literally just swap out characters, swap out actors, and people are still going to come see it because it's Star Wars. But not just that. The reason the Star Wars trilogy worked is because we had, it was like an ensemble thing and it was, they all worked together for the most part. They might have different scenes apart, but they they were friends and they were united in that way. And until Rise of Skywalker, they kind of weren't doing that. 
with the new cast. With the new yeah. cast at they all. So they weren't, and that was, they weren't yeah. giving them that, you know, camaraderie type group uh, you know, thing that they were trying, they should have been doing. Plus, they, they shortchanged uh, Finn, like, massively. Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot. I mean, Disney, I think they're going to have to learn, like, I mean, Pirates of the Caribbean, honestly, is nothing without Johnny Depp. That's why people cared about the mm -hmm. movie in the first place. Because I remember when it was announced, that's how old I am, and I'm like, how the hell are you going to do a movie based right. on a ride? Let alone, well, how many they have, like five? Five of them, yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, you can do spinoffs as long as people actually care about those characters. And the smart thing to do would be to introduce these new characters and don't go prematurely making plans for spinoffs until you see if these new characters actually stick. Right. It, it makes no sense to be like, oh yeah, we're going to introduce this new character. Uh, we don't know if he or she is going to be popular, but we're already got. Shay, let's be honest. Yeah, we don't know if she's going to be popular, but but uh, we've already got a trilogy planned for this this new character that nobody might. If it give was a, a male lead before, it's so obviously a female yeah, lead yeah. now, and but particularly not white one. Oh, Indiana Jones is going to be a train wreck. I have no doubt. But it's, you call it Indiana Jane. Indiana <laughs> so Jane. Like this is going to happen next. But uh, yeah, this is this is not a surprise to me. Um, I, I knew the show was not gonna it was gonna be separate from the film. I knew they were gonna do both, but the fact that this this quick doll all of a sudden there's a script this just screams of damage control. Yep, yep. And so, I bet he's suddenly gonna be in the show too. You watch. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll pay for the cameo in the show. They'll have him come in the very last episode for oh, five minutes. It was always planned. We just didn't tell you. And I'm like, well, when you were getting all that backlash, I think you should have mentioned it because you didn't have it planned. Yeah. And, and they said they, they would love to have him. The creators even said they didn't. They didn't say they had him. Yeah. They'd love to have him. Yeah, they'd love to have him. So there you go, guys. Uh, we're getting, uh, hopefully, getting Nicolas Cage. Uh, maybe the backlash will work. We'll see. No idea. We're going to wrap it up? Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.